so today I'm going to show you how to run Windows on an Android phone without having to actually install it on the phone. So you know you do not have to override the Android operating system. You can actually run this in Android. And this is simply just an app. So how you're going to do this is basically uh, this is an app called Limbo X86 PC Emulator. And basically what it is, is VMware for your mobile phone. Which emulates Android, or Windows operating systems. It also supports Linux too. You can run Linux distros in it. So basically what you do is this app is on the Play Store, but it costs 7 bucks. So if you want to get it for free, you can just get it from the the web browser on your mobile phone and it's an APK file you will have to enable apps from unknown sources in your settings and then you just download the file and then you click on the file hit install and then you can open the app and you are also going to need a QCOW2 file of your operating system so far I've only been able to find two that actually work uh, Windows 10 and Windows 7 and uh, I already have them set up here Windows 10 does work. It might be kind of slow because Android phones and tablets aren't really meant to run Windows, of course. But, yeah, basically how you do this is when you want to make your operating system, you'll just hit uh, the none thing. And you just hit new. And then right here, you'll just enter your machine and stuff. Just hit create. And you can choose, but if you're going to use Windows, hit custom. And then what you're going to need to do is set it up. So you can click on user interface and stuff and just change it. There's a video in the comments on how to get... I'll put, paste the video, the links for the the APK file for the Limbo x86. The links for the Windows 10 APK and Windows 7 APK. And also a video on how to set this up for Windows 10, which also works with Windows 7. And then when you're done, basically, um, once you have your, all your files and stuff, the boot device, you basically just have to click here, and you can choose default, and then you have to choose your operating system here, so you just click none, open, and then you have to open your QCOW2 file, and then when you're done, you can choose your virtual machine if you have multiple. I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. And this also does support networking too, and audio, but I haven't been able to get any audio working so far. That's probably because the card, because you have to get the right one for your Windows. And then when you're done, you just click the operating system you want to do, and click play. And you can turn it the other way, and then it will boot up into Windows 7. And if you're wondering how to do a mouse, you just move it around. If you want to do keyboard, you just hit back hit the keyboard button and we'll bring up the on-screen keyboard you can just hit enter here and we'll go into windows and there's also a mouse setup so on phone you can choose for a trackpad so basically you would just move your finger around on the screen and it would just like emulate a mouse on ta a tablet you can do touch screen but your operating system needs to have that supported and if you have a mouse hooked up via the ultra U connector you can use that so in this case, I'm just going to select phone. And then, as you can see here, it will boot. You have the sound card and the network card. Um, so you can emulate a network and you can use it. And you can use Windows here. As you can see, it does take a while to boot. Let's see, I'm going to move my finger and it's going to emulate a mouse input. And then you can uh, just press on the screen to do left click. And if you want to do right click, you have to push the volume down button, which will then emulate a left or right click. And then All right, sorry about that. My mom called. I'm gonna have to blur that out of the video because I don't want to dox my my small parent's phone number. So, anyways, as you can see, Windows 7 is booting up here. So. Yeah. And again, it takes a bit. And you can hit back again and take that menu away from the top. And then you'll be full screen again. 
so yeah it takes a little while but it will eventually work but I just wanted to show off this little emulator so if you wanted to emulate Windows on your mobile phone then that is definitely possible and as you can see it is now loading the desktop I couldn't get any uh, sound card working but I was able to get the the Ethernet card working so as you can see in a minute you can see when I hover over them that the audio service is not running give it a minute no output device but as you can see in the network card in a minute it should say connected it, it will make you install drivers you don't have to go to the file you don't have to like go on the internet and get files you just have to click on the no network icon and right here and then it will just install drivers automatically and then it will work see it's loading initializing the connection right now and you wait a minute that loading icon will go away which means that we are connected to the internet takes a while but yeah this is definitely possible like I didn't set this background this QCAM2 file the actually you don't even have to set up windows it sets it up for you because you know, the QCAM2 files usually most of them on the internet they're already set up so you just have to set it up and you just have to make limbo um read the file and then you can just boot up and it will go straight into the operating system you, it won't make you install because it's pre-installed it's already installed so that's cool sometimes it'll be a little like customized though and on Windows 10 for some reason there's no web browser I think it's probably running like Windows Server or just a light version of Windows 7 still initializing the connection it takes a little bit oh internet access that's weird I don't know why it isn't saying... Oh, there we go. Internet access. So now when I hover over it, internet access. So if I open Internet Explorer, of course I don't like I'm using that because Internet Explorer sucks. It doesn't work anymore. <coughs> and you, can probably get... Actually, you can probably get Google Chrome on here, though, and then you can browse the web. Of course, there's no point in just running Roblox on here. That's because Roblox already has a mobile app, so you don't need to do this to get Roblox. I don't know if there's an iOS version, but there might be. Never know, though. I've also been able to find a Windows XP QCAL2 file, but it's not bootable, so... That doesn't work. Let's see, it's gonna try to redirect to something. But we're gonna try to go to Google, so you just have to click on that up there. I don't know what website it's going to. That definitely is not MSN. As you can see here, you just have to hit back, keyboard. I'm just going to open Google. Oh, shut up, Microsoft. Shut up. I don't care about you, Microsoft. Freaking Internet Explorer. Oh my god! So hard to, to, to go to Google. Yeah. www.google.com And it should just go to it. <coughs> yep, search it. Search. What? This is kind of hard to use because it's on a mobile phone. What do you expect, really? Go. I don't know why, but it's... Oh, never mind. It's, it's going through it. Just give them in. But of course, I don't recommend Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer sucks because it doesn't work anymore. <coughs> and I don't want to use a browser associated with Microsoft. 
They make Windows right, but they definitely don't make web browsers right, so. But yeah, I'm not going to install Chrome on here because uh, this video will be way too long. But yeah, it works. It should eventually ping Google and... Oh my god, I won't close out. And... In process. But yeah, you can see it works. Start menu works. Should... And you can open the file explorer and view your files. Or you can view some videos of media player and view your computer. And then when you want to shut down, I would recommend turning off the VM first. Like, just going here, shut down. But if you want to fully shut down, you can just hit shut down here. And you actually, it's going to warn you. It's going to say, make sure that you shut down the OS first. And then you just click OK. And then it will automatically shut down the operating system. And as you can see, Windows 10 will boot. I'm not going to fully boot into it, but I'm just going to show you that the Windows 10 logo will appear. I'm just going to show the Windows 10 logo. I'm not going to fully boot into Windows 10 because it takes way too long. And sometimes it won't. It'll just take forever. See, Windows 10 logo, it works. Thanks for watching.